this is a special help to farmers of old and even present day um, this herb is known in Ghana as a, a champon yeah I think the English name is Odetta I will look for the rest here is chrome chromo something or data I'll look for it and then uh, put it up in the description and uh, whenever farmers go to their farm and um, they have a cut or injury of any sort this herb is one of the things they look out for because um, it has some properties that enable the blood to clot and cease. And uh, I read about it and I realized that it is an antioxidant. And so it helps in the healing of the wound. Yes. And it has other medicinal uh, benefits or properties that um, makes it so special to the farmer so in time of old or even these days i believe some people still use it and it is widely used in ghana particularly uh, i don't know of the other countries though so what they do is that they pluck some handful of the leaves the, the, the leaves and then they mash it in their hands and uh, the fluid or the liquid that comes out of it um, is squeezed into the wound and uh, the rest of the residue is used to close the wound up and then they tie it nicely and firmly and then walk home so when they go home then they continue with the rest of the treatment yes so though this um, herb is very annoying as a wheat because it can take over your farm within a short period of time the benefit is undoubtedly um, a good one especially when you have injury on your farm where you are not near to any hospital or to any health facility for suturing or for wound dressing of any kind you can always run up to this uh, herb a champo and then use it to um, use it as a first aid and uh, run home for help yes and just do it like this <laughs> They will just do it like this. They will do it hard. They will do it like this. So as you can see, the herb itself has generated um, uh, <laughs> fluid. Yeah. So then they will use this. Uh, they will, together with this fluid, then they will use it and wherever the wound is, they will put this whole thing on the wound. And then use either part of their trouser or their clothing they will tear it and then use part of it um, to tie it firmly you see tie it firmly like this okay firm on the wound and then they will walk home or call other farmers for help and so this um, um, a shampoo is very effective in the treatment of infectious wounds uh, and uh, even when i read i found out that it is also good in um, dressing burn wounds burns burns uh, not severe burns of course for severe burns you would have to uh, run to the hospital for safety but minor minor burns they also use this um, a shampoo for treatment so uh, next time when you have a cut on the farm please or any other place that a facility is not near you, a clinic is not near you for you to get uh, uh, 
immediate attention you can always use um, you can consider using uh, a shampoo uh, to um, um, cease the bleeding and cover the wound and tie it firmly and run to the nearby facility when you go the only thing they would do is to take it off um, and wash it wash the wound and then continue from there thank you uh, for watching please uh, remember to subscribe remember to subscribe uh, so that we can do more like i told you um, this channel um, promised to be very uh, exciting and uh, you need to help us you need to support us by subscribing to the channel so that the channel can grow, grow. yeah so please and please smash the subscribe button and turn on the notification and stay tuned this is the farm prefect where we share profitable agri business idea and also share with you farm practices that can help you to um, grow your farm well and we also share with you uh, first aids that you can consider on your farm